Welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley at TS Tech Talk. Today, guys, I want to show you how to um, schedule a video, a room, um, a video conference on your Facebook room from your Facebook page. Actually, I'm going to show you guys later on how to do this on your Facebook Messenger. But right now, I want to show you guys how to schedule a room on your Facebook. So maybe you have um, an appointment with somebody and you want to start that particular Facebook room, but you don't want to start the room immediately. You just want to schedule it, share the link, and then let them have it. And once it's time for the room to start, or um, whenever like the appointment date or the appointment time has reached, they are going to get a notification and start running um, and start running the Facebook room stuff so they can actually save this on their calendar for some reason and stuff. So to set up a room timer, to set up a, a create a room ahead of time over that particular period, just go ahead and click on room, wait for it to load. It might delay to load depending on how fast your internet is. So um, guys, if you've actually created this room, don't forget to set up um, um, a reminder on your phone or whatever device you use frequently set up a reminder so that you'll be able to remember when the time for the room has reached so that you'll be able to start that room because if you actually miss this um it's going to be very depressing so this is the option right here that says start time you can notice the option that set here is actually set to um start the room now and if you check this particular section um it actually say the name of the the name of the room you can click on that to see more about it you can actually give it a different name or give it a different option you can just go ahead and click on new and retype the name and then just retype it to i can say So I just call this appointment video i can go ahead and select any emoji that i want or whatever I want to display and save it. So once you're done, it will be displayed this way and also the other person is going to see. So um, the next you should do is to go ahead and click on who you want to invite. That's if this is an appointment, that means you are probably going to be um, inviting somebody. Maybe you have an appointment, for instance, a hospital, a church, or a group of individuals that you want to invite. So just select those people, select only those specific people, and then check, 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 check. So once you're done, you can click on invite. And you can notice it says invite, right? So go ahead and select the time you want to start this um you want to start the room go ahead and select any specific dates that you want i'm selecting 20 for this select the specific time which you want i'm going to select um afternoon should be 14 so i'll make that 14. so so once you've done this go ahead and click on save so after you've saved it all you need to do is to click on next and then it's going to actually go successfully now you can see it has been set so i can just go ahead and type in whatever i want to type in so um whatever message you want to type in just make sure you type it and then click it so um even though people see this stuff on our timeline i'm actually going to delete it anyway let me just post so even though people see this stuff right here they might not be able to join if they are not invited so only people that are invited will be able to join and note that several people can see let me go ahead and refresh my page that you guys will notice what is going on so guys this is how it displays for us and you can notice it says um appointment right here and you can click on join appointment and you can notice the time and date if you want to know more information you just click on it and you can notice the detail this is the date when it's starting these are the people that are invited. These are the people that are invited. And you can see, go ahead and edit. When you click on edit, you can see the date and time also. So if you just want to confirm the date and time or you want to edit and change the date and time, you can go ahead and do that. And you can also see the people that are also invited for this um, for this messenger room. So you can still do more settings right here by um, saying... Um, turn on link sharing that's if you want to allow anyone to join this but if not just leave that off and just keep off
just select keep off to keep people off from joining so you can also share this by clicking on share link and you can just share it on your timeline that's if you want to and if you want to invite more people you can just go ahead and select invite you can notice you can easily share it on timeline and then say something but i don't want to do that right now so let me go ahead and close it off let me say click on this section again to preview it again so if you want to invite more people you can go ahead and click invite so once you select invite you will notice their name will display and you can easily search their name right here just as i took i showed you guys on my previous video and uh, you can notice this ones right here are the ones that are already invited so let me go ahead and invite more people let me go ahead and select more people to invite and i'm going to search a name that is not played here which is club Olang. Okay, the name has displayed just go ahead and select so whichever name you want to search just type in the name on the search area and it will display so just go ahead and select once you're done just click on done and they are also going to be invited so if you notice i still have this right here let me go ahead and close it close because it didn't discard properly so it have actually closed now let's go ahead and confirm actually because this is my first time i'm using this let me see if it actually mistakenly displayed on my timeline oh yes it's actually displayed on my timeline. let me see if it's visible to everybody okay there is no option that means this is actually visible to the public i think so let me go ahead and discard this okay so this is actually visible to the public so i can still click on i can say click on um make it friends only or you just say um, make it an exception and you select the people that you want them to see this kind of stuff and you can just search for them here go ahead and search if you want to make an exception of people right here just go ahead and click on that but once you're done you just click on save but i don't want to do that right now and if also you want to select more options just go ahead and click on more and it will say um specific friends only and you can also make it to be only me so whatever option you want to select just go ahead and select that but this is not going to be a real shit because i'm actually going to be deleting this very soon so you can notice because i clicked on it twice it updated twice for us so this is pretty good this is just what i want to show you guys and if you guys are actually following up thank you guys for watching the video thank you so much for spending your time with the video thank you for the 7.5k subscribers and please guys i really appreciate if you subscribe if this is your first time of visiting my channel and you're watching the video and you actually enjoyed it please do subscribe subscribe right now and see you guys on my next video tell your friends to come subscribe also like the video share it with your friends and see you soon peace